but you're gonna aim get it up under that dock i want to wait one two three and this dock's in seven so let's be honest skipping jigs shooting jigs all that it's it's not complicated but time and time again when i'm out there you know showing people how to use their live scope taking them fishing you know showing them how to use our jigs out on the water when i'm shooting a dock they always ask the age old question man you've been doing that a while how do i do that well i'm i'm here to tell you it's not very hard and in, in today's video you're going to know how to skip a dock so let's dive right into it now, first off, one of the most important things when skipping or shooting a dock, whichever you want to call it, you're either going to skip your lure up under or you're going to shoot it through a hole in the dock that, you know, your lure shouldn't be going in the first place, is your rod and reel setup. Now, my favorite right now is a five foot ACC crappy sticks, and I have it paired up with an Octane 10 reel with four pound vicious line. And on the meat end of it, you know, I love a 132 ounce jig head and a little minnow or a little stinker they skip really well but if i really want to get really far back in the dock i will switch to the beaver tail snipe beaver because it's got a flatter surface and allows me to actually skip but when i'm just shooting and just trying to get up under stuff there's nothing beat a crappy man green little minnow now one of the most important things is the setup you know we covered the rod we covered the lures now let's get this out of the way because i already know this is going to come up in the comments you're scared of hooking your finger like that now i'm gonna tell you if you do it the way i'm about to show you you have a hundred percent chance not to hook your finger so don't be scared of it is i've got this tied on a loop knot the knot does not matter at all you want to grab your jig head have that hook angled like this there is absolutely no way to hook yourself when you let go let's do it one more time the the hook is going to go away from you and it's going to go you know the way you want it to go and you're not going to go into your hand there's absolutely no way so that's the first step of being able to skip the second step is holding your line. I've got the line right here on my finger. That's the next important part is you want it. So when you let go of this, this goes with it. I didn't move my finger at all. So we set it up again. We've got our jig pointed. We've got our line just above the crease. You want to barely have it on your fingertip. And you load the rod up and it goes now the next step is being able to aim now normally when you shoot a jig mentally you kind of want to stare at your jig you want to look at your jig to make sure it's lined up you're out there like a sniper in call of duty trying to line your jig up and shooting it but the best way i have figured out is to stop looking at your jig and actually just focus on the target. Now see, we've got two dummies here that my kids use for BB guns. We're gonna load it up. We're gonna cock our rod until we feel like it's got enough power. And I'm not gonna look at the jig because me looking at the jig is not gonna put it where I want it. I want to focus on the target ahead of me. So I'm gonna stare at the target, not at my jig, and hit it dead in the center. So that's one of the main keys is to stop looking at your rod tip and your jig and that's where a lot of people mess up you're not putting enough power with it and you're not focusing on your target dead in the head now, i didn't look at the jig at all all i did was look at the target So I'm to show you all how this works like your body will adjust like you're not going to do that the first time be like oh I'll pull up to a dock and oh I missed him now I'm hung up in the tree you've got to focus 
on your target and it's going to take practice the timing and everything but if you put the time on the water to do this that's when you learn how to do it so that's how you skip a jig that's how you put your jig in places it should not go and you'll see in this video that if i didn't do this technique i wouldn't have caught the big fish that i did so i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure you smash that thumbs up button for me subscribe to the channel if you haven't if i provided value to you that would be huge make sure you order some jigs at craftmanjigs.com all right so you got your dock picked out you're gonna come up here you're gonna figure out an angle that you can fish there's beams on the front of this dock and there's beams on the back but from the looks of it it doesn't look like there's no beams on the side so just like i showed y'all in the beginning i've got a loop knot with a crappy man green with a 132 ounce jig head paired up on four pound vicious lime with a five foot acc crappy stick so we're just going to take it we're going to load it up we're going to pick our target we're not going to stare at the jig while we do this we're going to let the jig do its work and you're going to miss see i, I just missed in but you're going to aim get it up under that dock i'm going to wait one two three this dock's in seven foot i'm targeting four foot i'm just going to slowly wind it out no go on that one so we're going to try a different spot on the dock let it wind down just a hair keep our boat in the optimal position that we can even with the wind had a little little tap right there load it back up get it back under there try a slower retrieve this time All right, guys, I caught one off camera, but it's off that same dock. There's just five or six big ones, just like this one. This one weighs a pound 80 up under that dock. And the only way you can get to it is the way I explained and the way I showed it how to get it up under that dock. I hope this little quick little video showed you, you know, something new, something, something great. Skipping docks is an art and it takes time and you're going to fail and then you're going to succeed. So... I believe in you. We're gonna let her go. Let her go make some big old bear brush. And make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one.